In 2020, nearly 53 million U.S. adults in the United States have admitted to suffering from some sort of form of a mental health problem. To put it into more perspective for you, that's 1 million people per state in the entire United States. Right now, you may be wondering to yourselves, well, geez, that's a large number. How can we get these numbers to be lower? How can I help myself if I'm suffering from some sort of form of a mental health problem? How can I help my friends and my family and my peers at work? And how does it affect other people around the world? Ladies and gentlemen, these are very valid questions and I'm here to help you today understand them better. My name is Carter G and today I wanna to go over what mental health is, how can it affect you on, in your daily life, how does it affect an international audience who you may do business with and how to keep those business relationships positive and last but not least, what can you do to better your mental health today? So without further ado, let's get started into the presentation. So the first question is, what exactly is mental health in simple terms? Mental health in simple terms is the overall well-being of your mental state, simply defined. That may sound cliche, it may sound simple, but it's really that simple. Yet yeah, it's, it's a very powerful word with very powerful meaning and importance. Another thing to really remember and to know about mental health is everyone's mental health is different in their own respect. To put it into perspective for you, let's say we have Tom Hogan over here who suffers from depression, anxiety, and PTSD after serving in the military for 30 years. Tom may have certain factors, certain triggers that may trigger his mental health problems. Whereas Sally over here, who also served in the military, who also has the same health problems, has her very own triggers as well. And, you know, say, let's say Tom over here deals with his mental health problems differently than Sally over here does in a negative way. That's okay, but it's really important to know that one's mental health is not import more important than the other one's mental health. Everyone's mental health is important and it needs to be respected in that regard. And that brings me to the next slide as to how can mental health affect your daily life? There's several different ways as to how mental health can affect your daily life. For example, let's say you are diagnosed with severe depression. And let's say when you have that severe depression, one of the coping mechanisms that you have is that you like to overeat. I will admit for one, that I love, absolutely love Twinkies. I have one right here in my pocket. You know, it doesn't take an expert to know that it wouldn't be healthy for me to eat 12 Twinkies versus simply just having one Twinkie in a single setting for a snack or a dessert. However, there are people out there that treat their mental health as such, and that can lead to a whole new ball game of problems for your health. Not just for your mental health, but also your physical well-being. And that is why if you leave your mental health untreated, especially early in your life, it can lead to premature death for various factors. It could lead to a suicide, it could lead to heart problems, it could lead to obesity, and so much more. The idea is if you have a mental health problem, you need to get it treated early as possible. And that brings me to my next slide as to how mental health affects our international partners, our international audience. And this is very important to know as you do business with international neighbors, because you know we're not always gonna be doing business with simply US vendors. We could have international vendors as well. And international vendors have their own problems in their own workplace, and they need to be respected in that regard. If you look at the key statistic right here, almost three million Canadians in Canada have some sort of form of a mental health problem known as depression. Depression is known as the silent killer for a reason. Someone can seem happy, someone can seem giddy and all out of the blue, yet they could be suffering from the very dreadful silent killer. And that's why it's very important to remember as you do business with these international partners, you treat them with respect. You show them that you care because you have no idea what they're dealing with behind closed doors. They can seem happy and giddy at first, but you have no idea 
if they're battling a very dark battle within the inside. So please remember that as you do business with your international vendors. And that leads me to the next point as to how you can save your peers, how you can save your friends and family from this very serious disease. The biggest thing that you can do is to simply show them you care. There's no, numerous amounts of ways that you can do this. It can be as simple as talking to them. It can be as simple as listening to them and what they have to say. And in that regard, it's really important when you're talking to them that you use you statements, not I statements, you statements. You statements are effective when it comes to breaking down someone with a mental health problem because you're focusing the attention on them. You care about them. You want to know more about them. You want to know why they feel the way they feel. And that's why you need to use you statements and learn as much about them as possible. So that way you can provide them with the help that they need. And that brings me to the next slide as to what you can do starting today if you have your own mental health issues. There's several different things that you can do if you have a mental health problem. Today, the easiest thing that you can do starting now is to simply be more active. If you're more active, it can raise your levels of energy and thus it decreases your chances of suffering from a very sick, serious sickness such as depression, such as anxiety, because you feel better about yourself and you have higher levels of energy. Another thing that you can start doing is eating better. There's been several studies that support that eating large amounts of sugar, like my Twinkie, and drinking a lot of soda pop that has a lot of sugar in it can lead to large amounts of depression, anxiety. It's okay to have those treats once in a while, but you must also prioritize a healthy diet in order to take care of your mental well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, today I've given you the tools to not only know what mental health is, but to also know how to help your friends, how to help your peers, and how to help yourselves as well. While it is important to know how to help others, it's really important to know how you can help yourself as well. There's several different factors, there's several different forms of help out there that can help you. Please take advantage of that, those sources of help. It's really important to take care of your mental health right now, whereas if you take care of it in 50 years from now, because if you don't leave, if you leave it untreated, it could lead to a numerous, like I said, a numerous amount of other health problems, whether it's in the physical well-being or your mental well-being. I hope these slides today have really helped you. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks, everybody.